I want to tell you a story. This is not a story about me and my time in Tanzania. This is a story about children throughout the world who experience barriers to education. This story is also about the community members who help to create educational opportunities for these children. Pendo is a young girl who lives at Living Water Children's Center. This is a center in Arusha, Tanzania for children that have nowhere else that is safe for them to live. She is currently living at this center because her mother died of AIDS. Pendo was born HIV negative, but her younger sister was born positive. Living Water took Pendo in a few years ago, but left the younger sister to live with their mother so that she would not be lonely. Throughout this time, Living Water was financially supporting the entire family. During this time, Pendo's mother secretly returned to her life of prostitution. She ended up getting pregnant as a result of this. She was ashamed of this because of the stigma around HIV and AIDS and decided to give birth in secret in her home. She died soon after giving birth to this child due to health complications. I had the opportunity to meet Pendo for the first time when I went to visit her in the hospital. She had been hospitalized because of dehydration. We hung out, read some stories, but mostly I had my first experience with the healthcare system in a developing country. I learned that there are never enough beds or doctors in these hospitals. I learned that sometimes two women have to deliver their babies in the same bed because of lack of supplies. I learned that doctors often leave the country in hopes of finding work in a country where they don't have to see 50 patients a day. There are so many other children throughout Tanzania and throughout the world with stories similar to Pendo's. Some of these children end up in places like Living Water Children's Center, and some never find refuge from the harrowing life laid out for them. During my time in Tanzania, through the people that I met, I was able to truly learn about the value of an education and the power of love and hope. While teaching in Dar es Salaam, I learned that pencils and books and even glass windows are an incredible resource to have. I learned that a class size of 30 is a luxury. I also learned how to play bow and eat rice with my hands. I learned that so many students want to become doctors when they grow up and that there is no simpler pleasure than sitting around and telling stories with one another. My name is Glory. I'm Miss Under Thiri. You need to to game blank. Thank you for playing with us. Thank you for staying with us. I'm nine years old. This is Yakini School. I like to see you from all the time. Welcome, guys.